So let's circle back to uh, Nathaniel Ayers, who who our listeners would know from the movie uh, played by Jamie Foxx, The Soloist, which is a really cool movie. I remember, what year did it come out? It's been a little um, while. I think it was, uh, was it like 2008 or 10, something like that. Yeah, it's been a while. It's, um, but it, it really is, it is a, it's a, it's a wonderful, interesting, wonderfully interesting story. Um, what about the purpose? And, and I, I guess people probably ask you where Nathaniel is to this day. It was maybe tell me about what you learned around purpose with that. And it is, was, was the viola, was it the viola or the violin in real life? In real life, um, he was trained on the bass, the upright bass, but in real life, he was hauling a cello and a violin around downtown LA. Both. Okay. Cello. Okay. What was that his purpose? And did, what did that teach you about purpose? Oh boy. Good question. Uh, Wes, because so many people, I mean, you and I are talking here today about how do you find what you're about? How do you find purpose and passion, the secret of a happy life? And, um, you can look at Nathaniel who was homeless and, you know, um, sleeping out there on the streets and fending off rats with sticks while he slept at night. Um, and all of that was horrible and it's a horrible disease and it, it doesn't go away. And it hit him when his career was ascendant. You know, he might have been in you know one of the great orchestras of the world in Atlanta or L.A. or Cleveland or who knows where. Um, but and for he, our listeners, he was he has schizophrenia. Yeah. And. Um, the thing that kept him alive, I think, was that his best medicine all these years has been music. So he's always found a way to hold on to an instrument, even if it's got only two strings, like he did, like he had when I first met him. He was making music out of it, and he, he's told me music is just you take one note, you put another one together with that, and you, you keep working until you find your way. So I envied him, and I still do, um, because he wakes up. And, you know, the Norman Lear thing about what gets you out of bed or what tugs you out of that hammock. For him, it's music. He gets up and he plays for hours or he listens for hours. And here's a nice little um, full circle story. When I began thinking about retirement and what would I do in retirement, one of the things I've always had on my list is to learn music, to get my, to dust off the guitar that I never learned how to play, sit in the garage and uh, see if I can make some headway on it. And I've played the guitar virtually every day for uh, 14 months, and I'm now playing with Nathaniel. Now, I'm not telling you that I'm at his level, but when I go to see him, I'll just do my, you know, like uh, amateur shtick on the you'll, guitar. You'll play a couple chords. Exactly. You got it figured out there, and he'll just find a way in on the violin or the cello. And I'm uh, playing with this guy, and he's happy, and I'm happy. And that's not a bad way to, you know, to spend some of your, some of your hours in semi-retirement. That, that's a, that is full circle and it is cool. And 